Cooper Carter here. A couple years ago, I demoed the Gemini One, a really excellent full range speaker cabinet designed for use with digital guitar processors like the Axfex 2. The Gemini One was the first speaker system from Mission Engineering, a company probably best known for its very popular line of expression pedals in a classic wah-wah form factor that have rightfully gained a pretty large following among users of guitar processors. And now, more recently, Mission has just released these guys to my left and to my right, the new Gemini Wedges. Now, before I go into any more detail about the wedges or I do any more playing through them, I wanna right up front tell you my number one reason for wanting to do this demo and why I was so excited when the guys at Mission told me they were going to be doing a wedge version of the Gemini. And the reason is this, there are a lot of really great sounding FRFR or full range flat response PA type speakers on the market that you can go out and buy and use with your guitar processor. There is not, for my money, another speaker system on the market that acts, feels, responds, and feeds back as much like an actual standard guitar cabinet as the Gemini. <laughs> ever tried to get natural amplifier and cab sustain off a set of standard floor wedges knows that that is not the norm. The Gemini were designed from the ground up as guitar speakers and they feel like it. <laughs> I think a lot of the Gemini's organic feel and sound comes from its unique speaker design. Most FRFR speakers have the high frequency tweeter and the low frequency speaker separated and leads to a really dispersed sound. In the Gemini, it's a coaxial design with a 12 inch low end speaker and a one inch tweeter in the middle for a more focused and even sound. Also because of the coaxial design, the Gemini's easy to mic just like a standard guitar cab. And just like with a standard guitar cabinet, you can reposition the mic to adjust your sound. It is an active or powered speaker system and the speakers are run by 110 watts of Class D amplification. And of course, being guitarists, a lot of people are probably asking, does it get loud? It absolutely gets loud. I've used the Gemini in gig situations, no mics, no direct into the PA from the Axpex, just the Gemini cranked up. It is easily capable of getting over a drum set, another guitarist, a bassist, a keyboardist, perfect for the live environment. And if you really want to crank up in your studio like I do here very often, the Gemini is more than capable. The wedge is available with feet that allow you to run it upright like a standard guitar cab, but I'm the type of player who not only likes a good bit of guitar down front in the wedges, I also, when I used to run a tube amp, would actually run the amp slanted back a little bit so that the air was coming right at me. So I think it's in the wedge configuration where the sound of the Gemini really shines. It's equally suited though to front and back applications, and for guys who are always looking for that amp in the room sound with your processor, this is your speaker. Now, the other 
thing that really sets the Gemini apart for me is that in addition to being really responsive and having a really natural sound, they're also chock full of some really impressive, but more importantly, very useful digital features. Arguably the most important of these is the M-Power EQ control, which allows you to blend away from a flat response and toward a more traditional guitar cabinet frequency response. Throughout this video, you've been hearing the Gemini with the knob set all the way to flat, but I'll play one more riff with the knob on flat, and then I'll dial in some of the M-Power to shave off some of the high end from the full range output of the Axefx 2, and bring the sound of the Gemini more into the traditional guitar cabinet territory. <laughs> I'm a pretty devoted FRFR user, so 99% of the time I'm running the Gemini completely flat. But even I found myself in a couple of situations live where I've wanted to dial in some of the Empower sound to shape my tone on stage. And for guys who want the best of both worlds, who want to be able to have a full range, flat response speaker, and access to a more traditional guitar cabinet, the Gemini is a perfect fit. Especially because to run your Axefx or other processor with a traditional guitar cab, you usually would have to have another power amp. With the Gemini, you can simply dial in a little bit of the Empower EQ, or wind the dial all the way over to Empower, even turn off the cabinet simulation in your processor, and you've got a great sounding guitar cabinet tone right there. One of the most impressive features of the Gemini is that the speaker itself actually contains a full USB audio interface. Plug the speaker into your computer via USB, and you've got a 24-bit interface at up to 192K. You could even plug a guitar into input too, fire up a software simulator, and record through the Gemini itself. Finally, if you have a pair of Gemini speakers, if you plug a stereo signal into just one, that speaker will intelligently know to send the split stereo signal out to the next wedge. I'm not familiar with another speaker system on the market that packs this many features into one unit, especially not at this price point. And I'm certainly not familiar with one that does all of what the Gemini does and is purpose built and really tailor made for use with guitar processors by guitar players. Playing through the Gemini over the last couple weeks has really been a blast because it's taken me back to the experience of just plugging into a great guitar cabinet and cranking up and having all of the resonance and the feedback and the sustain and really the interaction between the air and the strings that comes from having a great guitar cabinet. And sometimes a lot of that's missing from full range speaker solutions I found. It's not the case with the Gemini, they're really alive. I've really enjoyed having them in my studio, but they're equally suited to using live. I've taken them out on gigs and I imagine they make a really nice addition to a rehearsal space because they enable you to tweak your tone full range as if you're going into the PA, get an idea what the audience is hearing, but you also have a great solution for cranking up and practicing as a band. So I highly recommend you guys check out the Gemini Wedges, another great offering from the guys at Mission Engineering, who really just keep knocking products out of the park, and I'll be pretty excited to see what they uh, cook up next. So check out the Gemini Wedges. Until next time, take care.